La, la, yeah. la, la, wait till I give my money right. Oh. I had a dream I could buy my way to heaven. It's been a while now, but I'm going back into the game and start doing some more Mac tutorials and some more Mac videos. So um, wait for those and I'll keep you posted. Uh, just uh, some updates before I start getting to customizing your Mac. Um, for the COD users, I'll be still doing some COD videos, uh, mainly the music. Black, Black Ops is coming soon. It's going to be great music. Uh, when I get it, I'll post it to you. Uh, straight off and uh, it's gonna be great Composer Sean Murray if you don't know who that is the same composer that did uh, Call of Duty World at War so uh, hopefully that's gonna be pretty good but um, for the Mac users I'll be starting to do some more Mac tutorials so we're gonna have the best of both worlds pretty much so um, that's it with the updates and uh, hopefully I get more subscribers and I'll do more crap but um, today is a tutorial about customizing your Mac and uh, this is mainly going to be um, app focused. So uh, we don't want to sort of tear, tear your systems and uh, crash your computers. So um, the first app I'm going to show you is something called iStat. Now, iStat is a freaking awesome app. Pretty much it's what you see on the menu bar here. If I just zoom in a little. So pretty much, iStat is just a utility to show you things on your computer that's running uh, from every pretty much every single component. So here I've got my CPU. It uh, shows me, uh, you know, the top five processors and stuff like that. Gives me a nice graph for the menu bar. So it's pretty much instant. You know, you've got your memory, your hard drive space, your activities. You've got um, your network, which is great if uh, you don't know if your internet's been cut off or what. Uh, and you've got your fan systems, your heating, everything. So pretty much everything that you want that uh, deals with the runtime of your computer is pretty much in your menu bar. Now, I've done this before, but uh, it's such a great app, you should really get it. That's what it is pretty much, iStat. And um, you can change it, very customizable. And uh, it's a great app, it really is. Uh, the second app I wanted to show you is something called Boot Exchanger. Now, pretty much this is for people that just like to tinker with their Macs. Um, whenever you start up your Mac, you get you get the normal gray screen with the gray Apple logo in the center. If you want to change that, you can. Um, you can make your own thing. So, for example, here I've got I've got uh, a little Mario instead of the Apple logo, and I can change the background color if I like. So. Uh, not much difference, but you know the app's free and uh, it's just fun to play with. So that's the second app. That's called Boot Exchanger. Everything will be in the description, so uh, I'll just link you link you all to it. Uh, the third is something called Doc Library. Doc Library pretty much is um, a way where you can change your doc appearance to whatever you like, pretty much. So. Um, for example, I've got a range, massive library here for um, your doc. So, for example, I've got something called Pirate here. I can activate it. And uh, you can see that my doc now looks like a pirate map. And um, there are stacks out there you can get. Um, there are plenty. So um, if you if you want to know where you can get this, uh, there's a place called leoparddocs.net. And I'm sure there are plenty of them. So um, just... Uh, find the docs you want, you download it, and you activate it on your desktop. So that's pretty good. Um, the Okay, the next thing I want to show you is a thing called Geek Tool. And Geek Tool is much more um, sort of uh, computer savvy people. It's going to work on a little bit of code, but you really don't need to be a coder to know this. Um, it's running system preferences, and all you have to do is just download it, and um, you can play with things that will be stuck on your desktop. So, for example, you can see here that these squares show separate, separate calculations, pretty much. So, for example, I have here the date, um, PM or AM, what month it is, what day it is. 
and the time. So um, all you have to do is just write down a simple command. You can change the font to whatever you want, color to whatever you want, anything to, even if it wants to suit your wallpaper. It's very customizable and you can do a lot more. Like you can check weather, check your internet, check your runtime if you want. So it's, uh, it's a pretty good app, pretty good app. And um, for, for the codes, for the commands, you can just search on the internet and uh, it's simple. It's very simple. You can just get it straight away. Um, the next thing I want to show you is a thing called Bowtie. And if you're iTunes users, which most of you are, I'm guessing, um, Bowtie is pretty much a little album art on your desktop. So, for example, here, I've got my music, and here is pretty much a controller. So, if I have a look here, and I can uh, play a song, I can change it here without um, doing anything with iTunes. So, it's pretty good, mainly for quick stuff, and uh, looks nice on the desktop as well. So, uh, why not? You know, it works. Um... Now the next two things I will be showing you on my MacBook Pro because I've got that on there. So I'll just connect to that and I'll show you. The first thing what I want to show you is something called Candy Bar. And what Candy Bar pretty much is, is able to, oh, you don't want to see this. Uh, okay, so Candy Bar is pretty much something that where you can, um, it's an app that pretty much rearranges every icon you pretty much have. Well, not every icon, but whatever it can find. So uh, it's going to load all my, my application library. And um, so it's going to find all my applications, go through the icons. I downloaded free icons through um, some websites. So for example, I've got all these icons here and I can change them um, to, what, to whatever I want. Now the good thing about Candy Bar is that you don't have to do this one by one. You can do it by a whole stack and uh, it's so much better than doing it manually and doing changing an icon for every single application, which is absolutely pointless. So um, it's very fast. You can reset anytime and uh, it's, it's a pretty good app. So as you can see here in my dock, you know, I've got um, many, many icons that are not actually the icons that it's meant to be. It's all changed. And I can reset this easily and I can change them. I can change them manu manually here if I want as well. So it's it's pretty good. And the last thing I want to do is show you how to actually theme your iMac, which is pretty cool too. But uh, I'll show you here that if I open up, a, let's say, system preps, um, this this is called Snow Tunes. This theme is called Snow Tunes, and I reckon that it's one of the best um, theming for Snow Leopard. Uh, this is not for Tiger or Leopard, but for Snow Leopard. So uh, pretty much, I've changed um, the buttons so they look more iTunes-y. So uh, if you like the iTunes interface, you're gonna love Snow Tunes, and it's free too. Um, you can see here that like everything is pretty much not aqua if you don't like the aqua interface the blue buttons and you you know you like um the more of a more min minimalistic view then um snow tunes is great and all you have to do is just uh open it up and restart your computer so uh it's it's a great app and uh i feel hopefully you would enjoy it but uh i think that's pretty much it on everything um so that's about eight apps to customize your mac with relative ease without going to your system and start customizing things. But um, yeah, that's, a, that's pretty much it. So um, please comment, if you've got any questions, I'm happy to answer them for you and uh, have a good time. And uh, see you guys.